What's up guys, Bearded here, and welcome to another episode of Sunday Scratch. Now, um, I have a few things to talk about, and those things are, one, I got a prank call, a interesting prank call, and uh, the second thing is about my videos. Um, so I guess I'll talk about the videos first and then go to the prank call. So. What I want to discuss about the videos is I'm noticing right now I'm not uploading very often. The reason being is because uh, with it being the end of university and all, there was a few projects that were assigned and I had to catch up on a few things and uh, just everything was kind of just dumped on me and uh, I guess a few other students as well. But uh, So I had to get that done. Actually, the week that this video is going up is the exam week and I think I have three exams to do in that week and then after those exams I am done I am completely done no more university I can concentrate on doing YouTube and making videos editing and I'll have more time to uh, play games with others but uh, the only thing will be depending on when I move and what kind of job I get I certainly hope the job doesn't interfere I should have time say after I get home um, and weekends hopefully to uh, do that stuff but uh, right now I, I I do have a little bit of freedom I'm trying to edit as many videos as I can but right now uh, you you'll probably be seeing a lot of say arc and forest videos going up I am trying to get back to CSGO I'm trying to continue with project cars I have a little something special planned with project cars and um, what else is there? I think there's the forest, CSGO, or yeah, Arc the Forest, CSGO, Project Cars, and I think there was something else. I can't think of it though. Oh, there, um, there'll be a few episodes of Spin Tires, maybe more. I'm, I'm kind of liking it right now. I'm just, I'm kind of getting into it. I don't know why, but, uh, the rest of the episodes of Firewatch and, uh, the, the rest of Life is Strange and the rest of Soma. I still have to complete Soma, uh, but yeah, we'll, I'll be getting to that. So yeah, basically, hopefully I, I get back on track and uh, like right now I, I have a lot of footage to edit and once that is out of the way, I should hopefully uh, be able to keep up. And right now I'm just kind of worried about the internet because as you may know, the upload speed where I'm staying is terrible. Uh, but if I go to the university and say use the Wi-Fi for my laptop and upload that way, that works. And then I can just come home here and edit from here, like uh, the annotations and the description and whatnot. But other than that, like I'm probably not moving to Moncton because. Uh, the apartments over there are kind of expensive and by the time September comes I'll only have about a thousand dollars and that's not good so my dad kinda wants me to either go down to his place or I have to stay up with my mom's because they wouldn't charge a whole lot for uh, rent and uh, it's close to certain jobs but anyways uh, we'll talk about that in another episode so moving on to the other subject, which was uh, the interesting prank call that I received. It was sometime last week, I think it was a Thursday, uh, around midnight. I get this call on my cell phone, it says private number. Typically I don't answer private numbers because I have an answering machine on my cell phone and if it's important they'll leave a message, right? But of course I answered and at first it was, he said, oh this is Chad Levitt or something. Um, I watch your videos and I'm very interested in your your content and I thought, oh crap, here we go. It's going to be some like creep who's trying to get my information or something. And uh, it was very suspicious and I kind of began to think more and more that it was a prank call. And um, he kept going on about uh, he's He's part of this company, uh, he kept calling it the Zantac company, and of course Zantac is a type of medication, so that was a big giveaway. 
and but I I just went with it to see where it, it went. And with most of his his questions, like he was asking my date of birth, if I was straight, if I was um, uh, where I lived, and all this stuff. And I was kind of lying, like I wouldn't actually <laughs> wouldn't tell him I'm 19 years old. I'd say, oh, I'm about to turn 20 or something, and I'd tell him, oh, my date of birth is September uh, 19th, uh, 1997 or something. But I kind of, I think I screwed up the year on the actual phone call, and I thought he was gonna say, "Oh, well, this doesn't match up." But he just kept going. But anyways, and then we get to the end, and I think he asked me if I was straight, and then he said, "Okay, so you're not gay or bisexual or whatever." I said, "No, I am straight," and he says, "Okay, that's good." And I thought, "Okay, this, that was a little rude, but whatever," and uh, or sexist. Sorry, not rude. I honestly, I, I think the word proper term is sexist. I hope I didn't offend anybody, but. Um, and then I can't remember what he asked after that, but he, he kept saying, oh, uh, you're putting me in a tough situation here, because uh, he, he, before he wanted me to join his, this company named Zantac, and I said, no, I want to go on do my own thing for now, and then he said, oh, we've got this summer camp going on, and I said, okay, well, I'll think about it and let you know. He said, well, I kind of need the, the answer right away, and I said, okay, well, my answer is no then. And he said, oh, well, uh, basically, I put him in a tough situation, especially, it, like, uh, he was trying to figure out what to say for the prank call. And uh, then I, I could also hear in the background, it sounded like he was in a kitchen. I could hear people moving around and things clanging, like uh, pots and pans and stuff. And I thought, he's, he's not, if, if, if he was calling for this company thing, he'd probably be in the office, for one, um... Well, I guess there's time zones too. Yeah, so that was kind of another giveaway. And then I can't remember what it came to, but he was trying to ask something. And then he started laughing, dropped the phone, and then hung up. So I just went, oh, okay. And I hung up. But it's just, I don't know. I wanted I wanted to see where it went, and I did. And it was interesting. Um, <laughs> I wouldn't say it was like that funny. But... Um, I'm assuming it was somebody that I knew from high school because there's some people from high school that still have my cell number and I didn't change it yet. I might have to change it in the future if this keeps happening, but um, I'm pretty sure it wouldn't, like I'm pretty sure it wasn't anybody uh, f just who found me on the internet and went, I like his content, I want to call him and then somehow found my number. <laughs> but the, that was, it was an interesting situation. But yeah, from, from now on, if it says private number, and it's especially at midnight, I'm going to let it go to a uh, message. And if it's important, then they'll say something. As you can tell by the the effects, or the, the effects, the, I don't know, the quality of my webcam, it's kind of grainy and not all that clear. I am thinking of getting a better one. I do find, too, that the... There is a bit of delay with the picture compared to audio, so I don't know why it's doing that, but I'm not experienced with webcams. I don't really know what kind is best, what brand, what type of quality. Like, GoPro is soon to be good, but I mean, GoPro would be a little complicated to use uh, to with video, and I don't know how Markiplier does it, but I like how he, uh, he records his webcam separate uh from the video content and then he puts it together in editing and then he can like expand it or do separate things with it without zooming in on the entire video but um i'm not saying i necessarily want to do that but if any of you that are watching know a good brand or just a good webcam in general that isn't grainy uh it is in high quality uh I just just high quality like I um, I want to make my videos better so if you can uh, leave in the comments below what you know and I will be reading them so guys that is about it for this week's Sunday scratch I know I missed last week's but that was again because of all those projects and stuff now I should be trying to keep up uh, with the videos I hope after the end of April the university stays open for say like the library and stuff because 
I don't know what I'm going to do to upload my videos. It might, um, I might have to say uh, every night I upload it from here, but it would take like 500 minutes, which is about. So I calculated it, and just over 500 minutes, is, or 500 minutes is just over eight hours, and that sucks. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching, feel free to like, comment, and or subscribe, and as always, bye for meow.